assume you have a pre-tied loop or a spliced eye. You're going to pull a little bite of that through. Just pull a piece of your rope through. And put your stake through there. Just slide that up. Now that's tight. over here now normally I teach you a trucker's hitch to tighten this thing up we are just gonna pull it tight and you're gonna go over the rope <laughs> Unbelievable! couldn't do that if I tried you go over the rope pull it tight go back around the tree Around the tree around and around she a few times and then you just wrap this around the actual line and there's a little gap there and after you've wrapped around a couple times you just tuck that piece through there pull it over like that no knots rope won't go anywhere do you like that Shane yep it's the knotless knot they're pretty close yeah. I'm always searching for more efficiency then you put four more stakes out in the corners. And we don't need, because these trees are pretty close, we won't need to try um, to do like a prussic or something. Because you can keep it in place with your stakes if you do it right. So put this up on the ridge. You can find the center seam. Works good for this. I myself like to have one end up against the tree so there's a clear... Uh, opening. Then I pull the corners out. Don't pull this one tight yet, just out enough so it's straight. And that ridge line, I come out this way a little bit. From the end. Put that one down, and then I'll show you on this side. So I've got that one staked. I can bring this one so it's straight out, and then I bring it up a little bit. Put that. tight against that one but not pulling this over yet so I don't get a misshapen house. When the last one goes in place I pull against both corners I pull against the, the, long, the long edge and the short edge and if I get the angle right it'll stay in place and there's my little house. This one's better for one person, but <clears throat> there's ways to there's ways to lift this out as well, so you have more room. Yeah, if you turn your tarp 90 degrees, you got high out. Yep. It would be uh, so we can swing it and lift them out with that by going across the ridge line. This one's good for a single body. Brendel, who's ever trying that, I think the wedge works better for partners, and you can pitch it lower too. And if you're new. The wedge gives you an open view of stuff, so it's, it's less. Like, what was that noise? And you can't see anything except the, the one triangle of opening at the end. And you're just waiting for something to look for, you know, around the corner. Don't think about that, though, tonight. That's just <laughs> So this is the A-frame. If it dips in, I'd show you some other knots later to tie this to the tree to tighten the ridge line up more. But that's about all you need. You could also do uh, a modified lean-to like we did with the clown tent. But I didn't have stakes. I could run this up and then run those out to trees. So I've got more of an awning underneath like we did last night. Duck bill. Duck bill, yeah. Oh, yeah. Or a beak. Yeah. Yeah. It's usually, uh, they're called uh, beaks, but uh, Rendell called it a duck bill one time and now it's duck. Yeah. <laughs> she changed tarp like terminology. Beak. Hundreds of years of tarp terminology. No beak, it's a duck bill. Should have let women in on it earlier. That's right. So now we're <laughs> More like the bill of a hat, right? So duck bill makes sense. Oh, there you go. Anyway, those are your two shelter choices. So now, you gotta look out for widow makers. Try to guess the wind. But another one I tell people is to lay down on the ground. Mm -hmm. Because you get your little house made, you crawl in there tonight and find out there's a hump in your spine, a root in your neck, you're gonna be upset. Because it's too late then. Any questions on that?